Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the worst purchases of 2019 and you'll be shocked by some items because I find them the most, one of the most beautiful pieces in my entire collection, but yet they are on the list of the worst purchases and I'll explain why. So if you're new here, my name is Aika. I make a lot of videos about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, luxury unboxings and reviews. And if you're interested in any of those, then I think you should consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the red button down below. Also turn on notification bell to be notified every single time I upload something new. And let's begin with the first worst purchase of 2019. It's in this orange box. It is from Hermes. And do you have any guesses? Ah, leave a comment down below what you think is inside. I still have the receipt, the ribbon, everything. It is the Hermes mug. Why did I buy it? I don't know. But last night I was thinking about video ideas and I saw this. I was just going through my boxes because you know, sometimes you just forget what you have. And I saw this mug and I was like, this is the worst purchase ever. And then it hit me that I had to do this video because I have quite a few items, seven, that are in this category, I guess. This is probably the second time I've taken it out of the box. The first time was when I unboxed it and um, then I put it back in the box and I never took it out. It just stayed on my shelf. The reason I bought it was because, you know, I felt like you need a history in Hermes to be offered um, like a Constance or a Birkin or a Kelly, but I'm very interested in a Constance bag and I thought if I buy something like China or um, little home decor pieces that might be like a push for me to be closer to getting this bag and I don't know one day I went inside, I didn't know what to buy and I saw the mug, I liked it and I've decided to get it so it looks good on my purchasing history but now when I think of it, I feel like this was the dumbest purchase ever because it was $100 which is super expensive for just a mug and um, I don't want to drink anything out of it, even water, because it is so expensive and it is so beautiful. So it just stays in the box and yes, I sort of do regret and I think, not even regret, yeah, probably regret buying this and um, this is the worst purchase number one. So the second worst purchase is this. It is not the agenda itself, although I find it one of the worst purchases, but it's the Louis Vuitton sheets inside. Uh, why it was the worst purchase? Well, because these are quite expensive. I think I paid something like 50 francs for this, like $50. And the thing is, I barely used it. Sometimes I just forced myself to use it. I kept all my notes on a phone or on a different agenda that I have right on my table, like a bigger one. But still, I wanted to use it so it's not a waste of money. And I just forced myself to put things inside, but I never looked at it to know what I have to do next. You know what I mean? So I think this was such a waste of money because, I mean, it's half empty, even more than a half empty, not used at all. And yes, this is another worst purchase that I made in 2019. Number three is in this Dior box. I wanted this item so bad. It was so hot, so hard to get. And I remember the day when I could get this one and another item I'm gonna show you um, later. So it's in this plastic little bag and it's the Dior headband, the, the Ja Dior headband in the color nude. I think it is so beautiful. It's just amazing. I love this piece so much, but I have quite big cheeks. And when I put this on, they look even bigger and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. And I'm actually thinking of either selling this or giving it to my sister or my mom so they can use it because I wore it, I think, 
once for a video, once for a photo shoot, and probably the third time when I was out in the city, but I immediately took it off because it doesn't really hold on my head really well unless I put bobby pins, but I don't have any, so I never do that. And it just makes my face look so weird and big. I don't know. I just didn't like it. Maybe it's in my head, but yeah i wasn't really enjoying this piece although it is so beautiful and i really really love it and i wish i could wear it more speaking of dior this is the second item i bought the headband and this um together the same day i got a call from my essay i actually ordered them so i had to wait a little bit and then i received a call from my essay i was so excited that they finally received this and I just went there immediately and purchased them and <laughs> for what? So it's this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous nude boots, summer boots in suede leather. They are so, so beautiful. I love it so much, but as you can see, I barely wore them. I wore them once for a photo shoot and that's it, only once. Can you see the sole is is pretty new and um, the reason i never wore them i think is the color i chose the wrong color i should have gone for a black pair probably but i really love the nude headband so i want them to match i guess and i went for this one and every time i wanted to put them on I just was really scared of destroying them, <laughs> uh, especially the heel at the back, it is also this nude suede and I think these boots are so delicate that I'm just scared to wear them. That's it, that's the only reason I never really wore them, I never wore them, but I still love them so much i think these boots are so beautiful and i'm definitely keeping them i'm not gonna sell them but i will try to use them more because they were created to be worn i don't want them to sit in my closet with no purpose i want to wear them so i will force myself to start wearing them in spring summer of 2020 we'll see how it will go if i still won't use them then for sure i'm gonna sell them because there is no need of keeping such a beautiful pair in a closet so the next item i wanted to show you the next worst purchase in 2019 is this balmain blazer it is so beautiful oh my god i love this blazer so much and when i bought it i was so excited i was so happy that i finally have one because i just love how this look on uh, on women they look so beautiful and this one is gorgeous with silver buttons i just feel like it's such a gorgeous piece but i only wore it once and i bought it back in spring of 2019 spring maybe summer beginning of summer probably and i wore it only once for my husband's birthday for dinner and that is it um although i had so many um so many times and opportunities to wear this blazer i just never did i don't know why i don't know what it is probably the color again i guess I like darker colors more for my shoes and my jackets and coats. I prefer darker colors. So maybe I'm just scared of putting like a stain on it or something. I don't know, but it is so beautiful. Uh, but unfortunately, I just, I just don't really wear it. I've got two more items and the next one is my Louis Vuitton Nice BB. I got it pretty recently, I think. Um, I got it the same day as I got my new iPhone. So it was like October, October end of September, no, maybe mid-October, mid I can't remember now, but I got it in fall and I was obsessed with this thing. I liked it so much. I saw it on Instagram so often and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And then I saw 
uh, that it was available in Louis Vuitton boutique here in Geneva and I just got so excited I immediately went to purchase it and I love it as a piece of art not a piece of art but as a piece of decor in my room I like looking at it but I haven't used it once I put I actually put uh, this pearls I also bought these pearls and I never used them. These are the back pearls They were so popular and I just bought a bunch of them long short Small big I just got a bunch of this Sorry, they're so loud a bunch of these pearls and I never used those I put them in this Nice BB and I just never use it anymore. I wanted to take it traveling with me when I went back home, but it just didn't fit in my suitcase because it is quite large. And if you wanna travel with such a large cosmetics pouch, you better have a large suitcase or take something out of it because it takes up a lot of space. And I just didn't have that space in my suitcase. So I never used it once, but we're going to London for New Year's and we'll see. If I have enough space, I'll try to squeeze this in and take it with me so I use it. But if not, I guess I'll just keep staring at it because it is still beautiful. I'm not selling it because it is gorgeous. I love it, but I just never use it. And the last piece, guys, is really shocking. Even for me, I never thought I would say this, but this is also the worst purchase of 2019. It is from Cartier. It will be no surprise for you, I think, but it is my Juste Unclou bracelet that I got back in August, but I just had so many problems with this bracelet and I don't regret buying it because I love it and I wanted it, but I regret buying this one, this one in particular. Not the style, not the model, but this, this bracelet. So when I just got it, I wore it for three days and then I had a problem. I made a whole video about it, so if you wanna watch it, I'll have a link up here, so click and watch it. But I, I've had a lot of troubles with the bracelet. They repaired it. I had to wait for two months to get it back, and then I got it back. I was afraid of using it, so I wore it a couple of times to events. And then we went to Berlin with my husband for our anniversary, and I decided to take it with me to test it out. And guess what? It opened again by itself when I was in the store. Can you imagine? I just felt something like scratching my wrist in here and then I look at my wrist and I see this hanging open. And when I saw this, this was the end. This, <laughs> I don't know, I hate it so much. What if I lost it? Imagine if I lost it in Berlin in a department store. Can you imagine that? I would have been so mm, angry. I bought it in Monaco and I texted the SA from Monaco, that guy, and I told him that it keeps happening again. I can't use the bracelet. I'm scared of losing it. It just keeps opening on my wrist. What is wrong with it? Like, it's not supposed to be that. And he told me, Oh my god, I am so sorry to hear about that. Are you traveling to Monaco anytime soon? And thank god we're traveling there in January. So he just told me to bring it to him in January and he'll give me a new bracelet. He'll exchange it to a new one and hopefully the new one won't have the same problem as this one because it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. I don't understand how people wear it all the time without taking it off because it keeps falling off my wrist all the time and it's been repaired like this is this is bs <laughs> for sure and it just makes me feel so angry because it is such an expensive piece but i'm glad that i'm gonna have it exchanged for now i'm not gonna use it anymore i'll just forget about using it because i don't want to risk it i don't want to be stressed um wearing this bracelet no thank you i'll just wait until we go to monaco 
and until it gets exchanged because it's it's impossible so guys this is it for my today's video i hope you enjoyed it what are your worst purchases of 2019 let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching again and i will see you in the next one bye guys